hey y'all welcome to my channel my name is amber danielle and if you're new here thank you and if you're not new here welcome back and today we are going to get into some of my favorite purchases on amazon that i've used throughout my medical education so far honestly and truly a lot of these products are not just medical student specific of course but that's just my perspective like that's all i can give y'all because that's what i am but I just wanted to kind of give y'all a little bit of a tea of some of the things that have helped me throughout my journey and I hope that in whatever journey you're in you can use some of these things I don't want to ramble too long so let's just jump right into it y'all know how the girls do and they like to save the best item for last because they like to keep y'all to the end of the video mm -mm. today we're gonna tell y'all my favorite item first because it's just that good to me honestly even if you don't get the one that I linked below if you are doing any type of activity where you are straining your neck and your shoulders and your back, your neck and your back, by looking at a screen, looking down, or like looking at a book and looking down, you need to get a laptop in, period. And it's not a port of eight, it's non-negotiable. When it comes to sunscreen and laptop stands, I will bully you down because I want you to save your skin and I want you to save your neck and your back. So you need to just stop, pause the video, and get you a laptop then ASAP thank you very much honestly y'all I personally feel like this is the best item on my list because it changed my life forever I am actually miserable when I don't have my laptop in because I was studying for 12 hours plus a day for eight weeks straight and that puts a lot of strain on your neck and your back and of course my eyes too because of like the computer screen whatever whatever but the point is when i didn't have it on days where i was putting in at work i would actually stop studying and go home and come back because that's how important my laptop scene is to me it's just you need one you need one you need one you need one and i keep saying it because i just want everybody to see that you don't have to strain your neck and your back if you don't have to it's just you don't have to like that is why things like this were made and it's adjustable and i know at my house we have like a bar table so if i want to have like a standing desk type effect i'll just put my laptop stand on the bar table and then boom i got a standing desk i didn't have standing desk money when i started medical school technically i still don't have standing desk money so this laptop stand on that bar table is going to have to give standing desk today i have no complaints it's very portable um i feel like if you're not used to carrying something like this around it might annoy you but it really wasn't that big of a deal to me to be a deal breaker i feel like it was worth being able to um have a little pressure off of my um off of my body the next item that we have on our list are our apple pencil replacement tips i love my ipad and i love the fact that i have a, a paper screen protector so it really gives notebook-esque type feel and i am a girl i like to doodle and i like to draw in my ipad a lot so i feel like i have to change my tips a lot more than probably just your average um ipad user especially people who really just use it to kind of tap and maneuver or whatever like that but i i get busy with my ipad <laughs> so i love to have some spare replacement tips whenever i need them um or you just never really know what happened you might drop it and you just it's, it's just handy to have some extra macbook tips i mean some extra ipad <laughs> some extra apple pencil tips i'm not really sure why i can't talk today but you just never really know what's gonna happen and you can never really estimate how long some of these things will last so it's just good to kind of always have a replacement on hand i would not be me if i did not tell y'all about my privacy screen i love a good privacy screen i don't care what anybody says i love a good privacy screen because get out of my business and get out of my phone please and thank you very much and it's not even because i have something to hide i have nothing to hide i promise i don't have anything to hide but it's just why are you concerned about what's in my phone and it's just like being in a hospital like it's just kind of weird when <laughs> it's just kind of weird like when you're doing what you're doing on your phone and like you got people that's like trying to side eye your phone it's just weird and i 
don't like that. Not only do I have one on my phone, but I also have one on my MacBook. Because, again, like I said, get out of my business. But I also got it because it's kind of weird when I'm doing U World in public, especially if I'm like at a coffee shop or something, and it's like a big wide open space. I'm doing practice questions, and then boom, like some genitals. I'm super, not like weird to me, but like if somebody who's a stranger is like looking over my shoulder, they're like, what the heck is this girl looking at? So it's just kind of weird. It's just to save me the secondhand embarrassment and the firsthand embarrassment. And I like the fact that the one on my MacBook, it has like a little cover for my webcam. So whenever I don't want my webcam to be hacked or something, I can just slide it closed and even if I just accidentally have the camera on on Zoom, it's closed, so it really doesn't even matter. So things like that are important to me because you would hate to be on Zoom and you get on Zoom, forget you got the camera on. Now, you ain't got nothing but a bonnet and PJs on and you looking crazy because you didn't know your camera was on Zoom. And I'm not speaking from experience. That has not happened to me before, but I would hate for it to happen. You gotta stay prepared. So I was hoping that I was gonna be able to find the actual backpack that I have. I'm gonna show y'all my backpack. This is my backpack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they did not have this one on Amazon. They had one that's kind of similar. I tried to link the one that was most similar to the backpack that I have. Mine is actually like pretty banged up. Like I've been using that thing since probably my second semester of my first year and I'm on second semester of my third year. So. If that's a good estimate of how durable my backpack has been, I hope that it helps. Um, I didn't want anything fancy. I didn't need a lot of bells and whistles. I just needed something to carry my books and my laptop and all the little stuff that I just have in my backpack. If y'all want me to do a video about what I put in my backpack on a day to day, like a what's in my backpack type deal, I can do that. Just comment down below. But it's pretty much it's just a lot of books and I mean um, stationary type stuff. I mean I do have some like other like personal stuff and like candy stuff and chargers and tech stuff. All the things. But in general it's pretty basic stuff that you would expect from somebody who is going to school slash hospital school. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. But just let me know if y'all want to see something like that. I do like that it has a charger port on the side. But you have to put your own portable charger in there. So I don't really use it that much because I just be forgetting. But it's a cool backpack and it get the job done. And I like that it has so many compartments. I have me a little secret compartment on the back. I got a compartment secret in the front like in the main part in the laptop sleeve and then i have some pockets in the front panel and then i have like the front front pocket and then the side pockets very good if you saw my last video you kind of already know my sentiments about compression socks but if you are new here i'm gonna tell you right now i love compression socks i love 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 them and i have two different kinds that i really want to show y'all so i have one that are a little bit more high compression than the other ones um those are the ones these ones that i'm showing you here but the ones from the last video that i mentioned they come in like an assortment of colors and they have a lot of options but they're also really comfortable as well and those are here and I just like them because they really help take the pressure off of my feet and it's comforting to know that my feet are still there after a long day of being on them and walking around and doing all the things and just, child, I just, walking around in hospital just really wears your body down sometimes. But my favorite ones, I'll say are my dark brown ones because they're pretty similar to my skin tone. I kind of like the new ones too. I am a neutral girl if you have not noticed already. I love a good neutral tone. So of course those would be my favorite because it's very on brand for me. But they kind of match my skin tone. So I mean they just look so cute on me. As I kind of mentioned before towards the beginning of the video. I have my iPad. I have a paper feel like screen protector. Yeah, you need to get one. If you have an iPad and you like to do a lot of drawing and doodling and digital planning, I would highly suggest a paper-like screen protector. Once I switched over to these, I have not gone back. I used to swear by a good glass, um, like a tempered glass screen protector, but I feel like that was when I was younger and like I was more prone to dropping my device or cracking my screen, but I really, I don't really 
drop my iPad much now. And then like the case I have on now, child, it's so thick. It probably won't even do nothing if I drop it. It's kind of like an otter box, if you will. But anyway, that's not the point. You need to get a paper light screen protector. If you are a person who truly uses your iPad for writing type motions, it just gives like that friction. With the glass light screen protector, I feel like I couldn't really get get a good grip on my screen I feel like it was kind of hard to really get some good traction so I wasn't um I wasn't doing my best penmanship if you will I'm really big on how my how my handwriting looks on my iPad it's just a me thing yeah I've had this iPad for three years so again I'm trying to give y'all like when I got the item so you can kind of see how long I've had it and kind of use that as a reference for like the durability um but I also pride myself on making sure that I take really good care of my things so that I can give you all these good reviews so yeah those are my sentiments about that so another tech I guess category type thing that I would suggest for you guys to get is a USB-C hub if you have one of the newer MacBooks, like the newer MacBook Pros or like the newer MacBook Airs um, or even like the new iPads, they don't have the standard um, laptop ports like your USB, HDMI, SD card, um, light, uh, headphone jack. Like they don't have any of that. It's just a USB-C port and that's all you get. Apple said that's all y'all finna get today. So make it enough. I like it because it has all of the ports that I need, especially the SD card port, which I use for when I edit my videos. Um, and then I have like a USB port for when I have my hard drive plugged up to my laptop. And um, it has like a regular, um, like the USB-C, yeah, USB-C charger. So like because you plugged one up with your USB-C hub, it gives you an extra one on the little thingy bob. So, um, what else port does it have? Pretty much any port that was on the original like MacBook Pros, that is what is on the USB-C hub. And I personally love it. I take mine everywhere. It honestly never leaves my backpack. Um, if it does leave my backpack, I just put it like in my little tech bag. So either way, it's still never really too far away from me actually now that i think about it why did apple take those away do you, like do any of y'all truly know why apple took away the ports from the laptop i feel like it was because they wanted to make like a slimmer thinner macbook but i'm not sure i feel like that is the reason i just never researched it I, because i was just too aggravated because why would y'all take it away literally when i was about to transition and to get in a macbook that is when they switched and added like the little ports on the side i thought it was crazy well I take that back my first macbook that i ever had still had like usb ports on the side but that was it it just had a usb port and it had a headphone jack i had the i think that was a 2016 macbook air everything after that they took away all the ports because they want to make it paper thin but you still gotta buy all this extra stuff so you can make your stuff compatible with the macbook i don't know it's aggravated i love apple and i love my little apple ecosystem but like just little small stuff like that is so aggravated i am a firm believer that i do not like to impulsively buy things so i wanted a magic keyboard so 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 bad child i actually i still do kind of want a magic keyboard low key but a magic keyboard just really was not in the budget for me at the time so i spent like a good two weeks trying to find a good reasonably priced alternative i won't say a dupe but it's a pretty good alternative for a Mac magic keyboard for ipads um i found it on amazon and i love the fact that it has a trackpad and it has a keyboard with all of the mac commands which those are some features that were really important to me when i was trying to find a dupe like i wanted something for one that had a trackpad because i wanted it to be um i wanted it to kind of help for when i'm on the go and i'm trying to edit I and mean, just when i'm doing my practice questions I like to use the highlighter feature and I feel like the highlighting feature with my Apple Pencil isn't as good as, well, it's not as efficient as me just highlighting with my mouse and going. So personally, I just wanted something with the trackpad um, and I also felt like it was kind of easier for me to maneuver um, across different apps with the trackpad instead of using my finger, even though I know it's iPad and it's touchscreen. I know, I know, I know, it's just, I don't know, that's just not what I wanted. With the keyboard, like I said, it has... Um, it's backlit, which is great. I love that. So you can see it in the dark. I love that it has kind of like the same Mac OS 
shortcuts that the magic keyboard has so that was another plus for me also and the price was really good so i really kind of get the functionality of a magic keyboard for literally a third of the price the magic keyboard was about 300 dollars when i was pricing it and i just didn't want to pay that much so i think for this keyboard i spent about 80 dollars which i mean $80 is not cheap. It's just not throwaway money, but at the same time, it was definitely a good little investment. And considering that I use it every day, pretty much, um, and even if I don't want to use the keyboard, I can just take the keyboard part off because it's like a magnetic back. And I can just take the keyboard off and just use the case as it is. And the case is super durable, so I like it. And it has a stand on the back of the case, so I can use it as like a little kickstand moment. Now, I will say a con about this case is it's pretty heavy. I'm not sure how heavy the real Magic Keyboard is because I've never actually held one in my hands. But my lap, my little keyboard moment, it's, it's kind of heavy. But I will say if you just have this and like no other laptops or like no other heavy things like textbooks or anything like that, it's perfect. Perfect. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. But again, if you are like me and you have your entire life in your backpack, you're probably not going to like the weight. But I don't know. You just got to try and see for yourself, I guess. But personally, I think that if you want something that gives you magic keyboard without spending magic keyboard money, that's it. Of course, my camera went out on me. Very on brand. But I don't even know where I'll be talking about anymore. So let's just keep this video going. This next item, even though I just said I try not to impulsively buy things, this one actually was an impulsive buy, kind of, sort of. So I needed a satin line cap for the OR. Like I wanted one. I knew I wanted one from the jump, like before I even started third year. But I procrastinated and I waited until like the very last minute to even like just register my brain. Like it was just too many things going on at one time. Like for third year and making sure all my documents were together trying to study it was just i had just finished taking step one like life was lifing and it just didn't register to me like i should probably order this soon but anyway my hair just really wasn't feeling the regular blue or caps like it was just making my hair so dry because it's like this thin like paper cotton i don't know what the material is but my hair really did not like it and it was making my hair like super frizzy and my edges were like super dry so i ended up just going on amazon i typed satin line or caps and this is what came up and never looked back honestly y'all i feel like depending on like what i ended up I feel like whatever I ended up matching in, depending on what my specialty is, we will see if I will need more caps long term, like if that's going to be a thing for me. So I've been looking at some and trying to see like which ones do I want to get and like keep them in my collection that's going to be growing because I love seeing like the OR techs and the surgeons have these super cute um or caps it's just the cutest little thing especially when they kind of go with their theme of their specialty or it's just something just so cute and like weedy i love little stuff like that love 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 the other thing about me is that i love stationery i love sticky notes i love notebooks i love ink pens i love mechanical pencils i love anything that has to deal with stationery like stickers washi t i love all of it and i love digital planners digital stickers stationery i love it that's me and like literally i just love it and so it's kind of on brand for me to get more stationery for medical school of course so i have two different type of pens that i got i got some just traditional gel pens um they are actually i have one right here let me see so this is one, the brand is by Uni, like uh, the Uni, I think it's Uniball, like that's the full name of the brand, but it's these, um, they come in multiple colors, it's like a big pack, they have like 
several shades of each color except red red black standard blue and green like they have the basic colors but they also have like all the other colors in there also but i love the way they write they're a really fine tip pen which i love they're pretty smooth for the most part i don't really have any issues with them but the only thing about these is that when i'm trying to switch colors really quick i have to keep a billion pens in my pocket so that's kind of like the only drawback but i mean it just depends i mean i still use them a lot but lately i've been gravitating towards these these have been my ride or die since i have been in third year um i kind of just started using i ain't gonna say my ride or die since i started third year but i'll say like early december late november i purchased a pack of these and as you see it has red this one this one's black and then the blue and then the green it is a ballpoint pen though it's not a gel pen but i don't mind because it still writes pretty good um it's still a fine it's like a fine tip pen i don't really care for like that chunky tip pen it don't like it i'm a fine tip pen girl needle tip honestly sometimes if i'm really feeling spicy my go-to is like 0.38 i think um 0.38 to 0.5 that's kind of like the range that i stay in as far as like my inks and my pens or whatever if you know if you know you know that's all i'm gonna say but i like these because i can just stick it in my little pocket pull it out and i like to do like black for my initial notes of the day like my first notes of the day are always in black and then my next ones are in blue maybe or green but if it's like super important and it's something that i need to follow up with throughout the day it's going in red baby so that's like my little system that's kind of how my brain stays organized throughout the day um but i love these like i think these are really 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 good buy and they were super affordable i think it's a five or a six pack of pens and it was like eight dollars i think but i don't know i like them love them love them love them love them i feel like i love everything i keep telling y'all about this little book is called perfect hmp i don't really gravitate towards it as much because i'm trying to really fine tune being able to do a very thorough like history and physical exam on a patient without having to have a template and really be able to navigate my thought process um clearly concisely but still systematically so i haven't really been leaning to it as much but i still do like to use it sometimes when it's a lot going on because of course i'm still practicing and i'm still working on my craft and i love the fact that it has um a specific spot for each category of the HMP and then it has a section for like labs so like your CMP CBC um, and then it has a section for your assessment and plan I think that it's a really good book for when you're just starting out and you're still trying to figure out how to get your thoughts together and make sure you ask a lot of questions well specific questions because I know when I was a first year that was something that I kind of struggled with a little bit making sure that I remembered to ask all of the questions i wanted to ask um so yeah it's not mandatory i don't think it's something that you have to purchase for medical school or uh, like professional school it's not mandatory at all but it definitely is helpful i will say that but i feel like there's so many other templates out there um like free templates that you can probably find online that kind of give like the same thing it's just I don't know I just wanted to try it out and see how it was I saw a lot of good reviews on it so I just wanted to give it a try now I do feel like I should not have to explain why I got a suture kit I think that's a little self-explanatory but I will say that I do like this kit and I feel like it's a pretty good quality suture kit um, it especially came in handy while I was on surgery and like depending on what elective like I don't know how everybody's school work but I know how my school works we were able to take an elective for like your surgery rotation to kind of explore a little deeper into surgery and i was able to do a plastics rotation and i loved having my suture kit when i was on that rotation because i really was able to really practice at home and um kind of fine tune on my skills and of course like i still practice now but it's just good to have a practice kit like anything that you're working on even if it's not 
something like suturing of course i feel like anything that you're trying to be good at you need something that will be able to help you practice and that's in all areas of life so that is why i bought the suture kit i just kind of wanted to show y'all like what all was in the kit real quick it does come with like a lot of different suture like you have the polyester braided suture and then i like that it tells you like what type of suture it is and like the dimensions and like what type of needle this is another 40 needle um, this is nylon monofilament um silk braided and then of course like these say for training only like please do not go and try to use these to suture somebody up please don't do that i'm just trying to give y'all an idea and like show y'all what all comes in this kit in case you were interested blades for the practice scalpel you have like the little kit this is the scalpel handle and then yeah, you have your little tools. This is a judgment-free zone, so please do not judge my sutures. I'm still a beginner, I'm still learning. But um, this is like the last practice set that I did. I usually kind of use this one. I haven't been confident enough to like branch out to the other ones yet. So usually my go-tos are this one, like the um, deeper one, and then like this one. Other than that, that's pretty much the suture kit. This is what the back side look, looks like. And this is like the thickness of it. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. So our last and final item that we're gonna talk about in this haul is my clear iPad case. I know I told y'all about like my little durable magic keyboard dupe one, but I also have a clear one that I like as well. The clear one has like a stand on the back so you can kind of make it like a kickstand moment. I love a kickstand moment apparently literally all of my ipad cases have some type of way you can tilt them up because i you need that and i love the aesthetic of like the clear case if you like clear cases the way that they look when they're still very clean and brand new you can't beat that feeling like it's so so pretty and i don't really use it that much so it's pretty much stayed clean and it's also super easy to wipe down so if you just want something that you don't really mind being in a place like a hospital and you can just wipe it down when you get home and stuff like that it's a really good option like with this case it wasn't a necessity but i do like it but i do again love the pros like it's easy to clean it's super lightweight and the clear aesthetic is just a real it's, it's a mood i love it i honestly go through cases a lot on my devices though so y'all will probably over some time hear me talk about a lot of different cases because i really enjoy changing the cases out on my devices when i just feel like i need a new look or i feel like i want to do something different or i if i just feel like i need something different as far as like the protection or if i just need something super lightweight i change my cases out a lot so that's honestly why i have so many but i think between the clear one and the one that i use with my keyboard those are kind of like my go-to's right now okay y'all so our time together on this video has ended i hope that you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any suggestions or some things that you have found helpful during your time in school or just some things that you like at your office or anything that you feel like you want to suggest to me just drop it in the comments down below um, let me know if there's a product that you do try from this list i want to know how you feel about it i hope that you found something useful from this video I try my best to give you guys reviews on things that i actually use and that i actually buy with my real money and i'm not just telling y'all know anything because i know sometimes people are weary about like buying stuff off of the internet that people suggest because you know the girls like they look coin but i will have all the links placed to everything that i mentioned down below so if there's something that you are interested in check the description box and that is all that i have for y'all i guess i'll see y'all on the next video bye y'all